Hi, I'm Liz Goldsmith, and I'm here for PRSA's News and Views to interview Larry Weber on his upcoming program for the chapter. So, okay. anyhow, to start it, uh, if you could just give a, a brief uh, overview of what you're going to talk about yeah. at our April program. Well, I'm excited about the April program uh, at PRSA. I uh, am probably going to talk a little bit, uh, my current book is called Sticks and Stones. Uh, how digital reputations are built over time and lost in a click. And it really is, of my three books that are out now, it's the really the future of PR book. And I want to go deeply into what I view as a, probably the biggest change our industry has seen since its beginnings. And, and especially from a media perspective, because I feel media is changing so rapidly and that you're even having a self-editing happening in the things like the blog sphere that you know certain blogs are becoming more important than other ones much like the newspaper industry when certain newspapers became more impactful than the others and we need to be experts of the media before we can help to influence that media and um, and so I'm going to talk about that I'd like to also talk about uh, you know what kind of skills that PR professionals are going to have to really fine-tune in the next 5, 10, 15 years if we're going to be effective for our clients or our companies. Uh, and, um, you know, look at what kind of tools are out there to help us hone those skills. Because at the end of the day, we're still craftspeople. And how do we, you know, perform our craft even more effectively? You talked a little bit about the skills that people are going to need. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, social media is such a new set of tools. Where do PR people go to learn them? Yeah. Uh, well, first, you know, the, um, the slate is pretty clean right now, but it's moving very quickly. And it's not just the big four. Most PR people are going to be very familiar with LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, and um, um, Twitter. And those are going to be 50 to 60 percent of the platforms that we need to use for our programs. But what we're going to have to really look at is sort of the 150 to 200 tools that are out there now from Radiant 6 to even the next version of Technorati, which is free, to really understand how to measure, how to, uh, how to uh, uh, observe, how to... Uh, uh, you know, use and leverage these different tools uh, it, it, for the sake of our company, if we're inside a company or our client, if you're at an agency. I also think that, uh, just again, like I said earlier, being a real student of the new media is really important. So before you even do anything, go participate in, you know, some e-communities and some blogs and, you know, look at Technorati that, you know, that gives you at least basic metrics of, you know, the, uh, the uh, unpaid media uh, world in, 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 in the, uh, in, uh, on the web. And um, I guess that's, uh, that would be one starting point, is understanding that landscape. Yeah, so. And how do you overcome resistance on the client side? Yeah. It, I have, for example, have clients who say, YouTube is blocked at my facility, yeah. therefore I don't need a YouTube channel. Yeah. And that's, that's regrettable <laughs> since, uh, one, this is America, and uh, two, uh, social media is going to have more impact on our society than television has had, and I'm, I just believe that totally. And I can prove it with metrics and direction that we're headed. We're in the first inning. And what I tell clients, since I'm on the agency side, that are a little afraid of all these, you know, the, the advancing of social media and and the new media platforms is, at first I use their competitive set. One thing that always gets a client thinking is if their competitors are doing something more effectively than they are, so that's one. Uh, two is, I tell, show them and we do some studies that there's already conversations happening about them and their products and their services. And they will go, you're, you're kidding me, there's been a thousand conversations about our pro yes, and you know, they're going to, these conversations are only going to get more, stronger, 
And uh, if you don't participate in them, then your competitors will be participating in them. So your brand starts to dilute itself. So I, you know, that might be a little too much fear to use, you know, with some of them. But um, and, and the, I guess the the more important um, uh, revelation for them is when I do go down the track that it's more impactful from television, and I give them numbers like 400 million on Facebook and 50 million on Twitter and. Also, the micro-segmentation of these communities where they're highly focused on everything from how plastic is made to just having fun or what are the best bars in the Boston area or, you know. So the, the, the breadth of segmentation is so huge and so important to the future of their brands and their, their products and their services. So.